On average, a recruiter only looks at your resume for six seconds. Today, I'm gonna go over a few tips on how to impress that recruiter and make those seconds count. These are quick, actionable tips that you can use right now to improve your UX resume today. First tip is to tailor your resume for each job application. You wanna customize your resume to match the specific requirements outlined in the job description, you wanna make sure that you highlight any relevant experiences and skills that align with the position that you're applying for. Obviously, you wanna analyze the job description. You wanna read every single word of that. So many of us don't read it thoroughly because we feel like we get the gist of it, but if you really wanna make sure that you are matching exactly what the job is offering, read through every single word. Once you've understood the job description, go through your resume and see where you can tailor certain things change up the wording to match exactly what they're looking for. This is going to take a lot of effort, but if it's going to get you aligned with exactly the kind of person that you're looking for, it's going to be well worth it. Make sure you incorporate keywords that are found on the job description in your resume. If they call out working collaboratively on a cross-functional team, put on your resume, working collaboratively on a cross-functional team. Many employers use an ATS system or an applicant tracking system that scans your resume for certain keywords that they have specifically called out. So if your resume matches up in the ATS, then it's going to get moved into the next round where a recruiter, where a real person will actually have a chance of seeing it. So those keywords can improve your chances on passing through those systems. And instead of just focusing on your job duties, like I did this, I designed this, I did this, this, this. Focus more on the achievements that came from those tasks and emphasize your accomplishments and how they can relate to the current job that you're applying for. Next tip is to really quantify your impact. Everybody likes a hard number. <laughs> you know, you can kind of describe in really descriptive language what you did, but if you quantify your accomplishments, that tends to go further for people. For example, you could mention how your design improvements led to higher user engagement or higher conversion rates. When you quantify, it really adds that extra layer of credibility to it. You can relate it back to any KPIs your company had, any KPIs or OKRs for that specific project, or how your designs achieved those OKRs or KPIs or how you're working towards those things. Don't be afraid to use specific examples that have concrete numbers or percentages. These are the kinds of things that if I'm scanning your resume, I am going to see those and those are going to really stand out to me. So like, for example, you could say how your redesign of your company's website led to a 30% increase in user engagement and how you fix the accessibility issues, which led to a decrease of 20% in terms of the bounce rate. They kind of sound a little bit strange where you might be typing it out, but those are the things that are really gonna add credibility. And at the end of the day, these companies are businesses and they're worried about that bottom line. So if you are showing how your design, your work has impacted that bottom line, it's gonna really help you stand out. Next tip is to not overlook the soft skills. I know in UX design and tech, we think about software, what we can technically do, all of those kind of hard skills, but especially for UX design, a soft skill is really what separates a good designer from a bad designer. Some of the most important soft skills for a designer are communication, problem solving, and collaboration. For communication, you wanna highlight examples where you effectively communicated with your team, stakeholders, or clients to gather any requirements, present design concepts, and provide feedback. These are the things that are tangible, as communication goals. When it comes to problem solving, problem solving is so important for a designer. You know, you want to showcase your ability to tackle any complex problems by outlining specific problems that you encountered and your approach in solving them. Prospective employers really appreciate candidates who think critically and creatively to overcome those challenges. And then when it comes to collaboration, they want to make sure that you are a team player. Design is such a collaborative role. You are just a piece of the design team, of the product team, development team. They want to make sure that you can play well with others. Describe your experiences working on those cross-functional interdisciplinary teams. That's exactly the kind of team that you're going to be working on as a UX designer. Make sure you're using a clear and readable format. I know as designers, we want to get real crazy with it. We want to show, we want to show our design style. You want to save that for the portfolio. Your resume needs to be clear easy to read and formatted well. So some do's and don'ts to make sure your resume is readable, clear, all these good things. Do's, make sure you're using clear headings, bullet points, and concise language that still effectively gets across what you're trying to say. Nobody wants run-on sentences. You don't want anything that just looks messy. You wanna stay away from that. 
you do want to prioritize information. So make sure your most relevant work experience is at the top and anything that's not as doesn't pertain to this rule as much, kind of keep that closer to the bottom. Recruiters only spend those few seconds scanning the documents. You want to make sure what you're trying to get across is at the top in a place that they can definitely see it. Do include ample white space. As we know, as designers, we know white space prevents things from looking cluttered. So make sure you have ample spacing in between paragraphs, in between sections, as well as your margins, just to make sure that your resume is easy to read. Some don'ts. Avoid excessive color. I think a pop of color is nice on a resume, but I would keep it to just that one color. Don't include various shades, multiple colors, rainbows, like I know you want your personality to come across, but your resume is not necessarily the place for that. Again, that is probably where the portfolio will shine. So make sure you're not using anything too excessive and just use color sparingly. So this is kind of a hot take. I've seen people go either way, but personally, I do not like to put my photo on a resume. You know, like I said, you want to avoid any potential biases. People do it unconsciously. You want to make sure that you're on an even playing field with all the other candidates. And a resume is my is a professional document. I don't think my face needs to be on there specifically for a UX design for what I'm saying to get across, if that makes sense. You know, I want to keep my, my resume focused on my professional qualifications and have that speak for itself. Avoid any overly stylized fonts, any comic sans. Please do not put comic sans on your resume. Do not put any very difficult to read cursive. We want clear, concise, probably sans serif font. That's kind of what we're going for here. And then I would also say don't overcrowd it with information. I know there's the great debate of the one page versus two page resume. I'm of the camp of the one page. I feel like you can fit all relevant information on one page. If there is a need for more information, hopefully that is when you actually get to speak to somebody, you can speak to that experience. Be selective about what you put on there. And like I mentioned before on the do's, white space is your friend. These tips are actionable and they're meant for you to go ahead and improve that resume right now. The resume though is just a companion piece to your portfolio. The portfolio is a UX designer's bread and butter. That is where you can bring in the fun, the style, all of that that represents who you are as a designer. A portfolio is the best way for hiring managers to gauge who you are as a candidate and who you could be as a designer at their company. So if you wanna improve your portfolio, check out this video here on how to make your UX portfolio stand out in 2024.